Hi guys, it's Marty here from letsbuildwp.com and in this video we're going to be covering how to back up a WordPress website or blog for free. This includes all of the site's files and the database. This way if anything bad happens to our site or any of our content, we can easily restore it from the backup. This will only take us a few minutes to set up and could potentially save us hours, days or even weeks of work in the long run. So if you're ready to get started, this is how to back up a WordPress website or blog for free. Okay, so in my opinion, the quickest and easiest way to back up a WordPress site is by using the free Updraft Plus plugin. It's what I use for backups over on letsbuildwp.com and I've had no problems to date. Plus, we can even use the plugin to set up automatic scheduled backups as well for free. So, after installing and activating the plugin, the first thing we want to do is just set up where we want our backups to be saved to and how often we'd like to run automatic backups of our site. To do this, we just need to hover over Settings in our left dashboard menu and click Updraft Plus Backups. Then, if we click into the Settings tab at the top, we can set how often we'd like to run our backups and how many backups we'd like to keep at one time. By default, the plugin is set to run weekly backups of both our files and our database, which I think is great. Then it's also set to retain three backups for each, which means only the three most recent backups will be kept. I think this is good myself, but if you want to change it, you can. Then under this we can set up our remote storage and there's a bunch of different options including Dropbox, Google Drive and email. Although I should mention here that even if we don't set up automatic backups, we can still download the backups directly to our computer which we're going to cover how to do in just a second. So for this example I'm going to choose Dropbox as my remote storage and then underneath we can choose what files we'd like to be backed up. I recommend just leaving everything checked, but really it's up to you. Then under this we can just click save changes. Then we just need to click this link which will prompt us to give permissions to Dropbox. Then once we give permission, our WordPress site and the files we selected will be backed up automatically from now on and sent to our remote storage. Then to back up our site manually, we just need to click into the Backup slash Restore tab and then click the Backup Now button on the right. Here we can just choose what files we'd like to back up and whether or not we'd like to send this backup to our remote storage. Then the last option here allows us to always keep this backup even when we reach our limits which we set on the previous page. This means if it's a really important backup or your first backup, I'd recommend checking this box. Then we just need to click Backup Now at the bottom and Updraft Plus will create a complete backup of our chosen files. Normally this will take less than a minute to complete, but larger sites can obviously take a little longer to process. Once it's finished, we can scroll down to the bottom and we'll see our backed up files. If we want to download any of these files, we just need to click on them and then click Download to your computer. Or to restore our site to a previous backup, we just need to click the blue restore button on the right. So that's us now at the end of this video and that was how to back up WordPress in a matter of minutes using the Updraft Plus plugin. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a like here on YouTube to show your support and consider subscribing to the channel for more WordPress tutorials and videos published every week. Once again, my name's Marty from letsbuildwp.com and thank you very much for watching my video.